the Midland Woolen Care. Good afternoon, my name is Aoife. And my name is Nicole. And we represent us from uh, the European Union. And we were wondering if we could ask you a few questions on Europe and how it has benefited your life. Yeah, of course. I, I'm Betty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Betty. Okay, being a member of the European Union has also meant that we have a single currency. How has this benefited you? Well, I own a small business in Mullingar, and when I wanted to trade with other countries, it, before the euro came in, it really wasn't possible because the exchange rate was so high. But now we have this single currency of the euro, so I'm able to trade without changing the money that I have, so there's more money coming in for me. Last but not least, what would you like to see in the future for your... Hmm. I think I'd like to see the Euro um, maybe spread out a bit, like have the European Union, have much more countries join and have this single currency of the Euro. As if it, it, it would take down kind of the trade barriers that we see all the time at the moment and help us all trade together. Okay, thank you for your time. Oh, thanks thank very you. much. It was lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you I too. Hope, I hope you get on well with your survey. Thank, thank you. Thanks, thank Betty. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, la la! Salut! 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 Tu parles en anglais? Ah non, je suis désolé. No English. Okay. Comment tu te fais? Oh, je m'appelle Clémentine. And we're here to ask you some questions from the European Union. J'ai des questions pour vous. Ah oh, oui, c'est parfait, c'est parfait. So how has the European Union personally affected you? Comment vous aider le l'Union Européenne? Oh bah, ben, elle va aider et dans l'éducation et tout, c'est super bien avec mes enfants et les voyages et tout, c'est extraordinaire quoi, les équipes de l'Union Européenne. So it's pretty hard for just one country because she can travel from country to country with education and all this. Thank you. Um, how are you happy with the effects? Et tu content avec l'Union Européenne? Oh, et c'est trop bien quoi, je suis trop contente. C'est vraiment bien. Thank you for your time. Salut! Merci! Merci! Good afternoon, I'm Eva and this is Nicole. And we're representatives from the European Union. And we were wondering if we could ask you a few questions on Europe and how it has affected your life and yourself personally. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, so uh, to start with, did you say you're from the European Union? Oh, okay. Okay, and so we're just going to start off by asking. Where I live, it's an area, you know. It shouldn't be busy. I'm, I'm on a tiny little road, and they built along it, and there was noise at six o'clock in the morning. It did they even it worked? I had to get up earlier. It was a disaster. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. So it's pretty obvious from the clips that we've just seen that most people see the European Union as a positive thing. But it's also obvious that it's not possible to please everybody. But the majority of people seem to think that the European Union has a bright future ahead of us. So the point we want to make is those we can please, we will please. So ladies and gentlemen, that is our vision for Europe 2050.